Hey guys, Lou here. Hey, we're continuing working on Graham's Jeep engine here. And uh, we were stalled out for a little while because the master build kit for the engine um, came with a new oil pump, but it was the wrong oil pump. They sent one that was for the chain drive engine, not the gear drive engine. This isn't a real Ford GPW engine block. It's actually a CJ2A block. So it has timing gears, not timing chain. So your oil pump, gear driven, the teeth slant up to the left. Chain driven, the teeth would slant up to the right because the camshaft rotates opposite. So anyway, we they swapped out, got us the right pump. And uh, um, so I have it hanging in there by one bolt just to demo the position. And uh, so when you shove that in there, if you look at the top, get a little light on that. You, you can kind of see yeah, get it out in better light here. All right, you can see there's a fat side. So you want to shove it in so that that fat side is about at the 930 mark. And as you go in, it'll rotate to about 11 o'clock with the fat side up. All right, so if we have got it in there already. So if you take a look, yeah, let's see. Uh, gotta do a better job on lighting here for you guys. So there the fat side is up and it's reading about 11 o'clock up and down on the engine here. All right, so if you do that, then when you put the distributor in, the rotor should be pointing at number one cylinder at about the five o'clock position. So we'll check that just to be sure. Okay, so we got his distributor here. And if you look at the tang on the bottom, get to focus there a little bit. There's a fat side and a narrow side. All right. So when we shove that in there, when it engages the oil pump, Your rotor is about at the five o'clock position, which is the number one spark plug location. So you can see it's got that uh, wide side there and a narrow side. Boy, I can't get that thing to focus very well. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, wide side, narrow side, and then uh, shoving it home at about 11 o'clock. Boom, it's in there. That puts your oiler at a slight elevation, which allows the oil to drain by gravity down to uh, oil the uh, distributor shaft. And uh, your clips are kind of horizontal. And again, you're at five o'clock here. Popping the spark on number one. Going to the cylinder that's now fully compressed and ready to go bang and shove it down. So uh, 
That's how that goes. Hope that helps you guys.